everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute star using needle felt. It's very easy to make and I know it's been a while since I made one of these tutorials, but if you are brand new to needle felting, this will be a very easy breakdown on how you can get started. This little plushie makes a great decorative item, but as you guys know me, I like to wear the stuff I make. So I made this into a hair tie and you can wear this as a bracelet too if you want. So let's get this tutorial started. You guys will need to start off with yellow wool. Now you can buy this at your local craft store, but if you don't have one, they have this everywhere online and it's important that you buy wool because wool has a lot of different cross links that you can't see that helps make this into a nice little plushie. You're gonna need a sponge or a foam board and you're gonna need a felting needle. And I don't know if you can see this, but felting needles aren't regular needles. They have little small dents on the side to help make the wool cross link to form your little characters. All right, so taking your felting needle, you're gonna poke your little plushie all over the place to make a nice little solid ball. There is really no technique to doing this other than avoiding your fingers. You don't really wanna poke yourself, so I would be careful when you do this. Rotate your item every once in a while to make it really nice and symmetric. The more times you poke the needle into the wool, the more solid it becomes. So you have a much more firmer object and it becomes smaller with time. Once you have a nice little sphere, on five corners, you're going to form little dents on the side of the sphere. This is going to form the little dents where the little stars has its little arms. The nice thing about needle felting is that it's not an exact science. You don't have to be perfect, and as you can see, I'm just guesstimating where the arms are supposed to be. The more you poke your little plushie, the more you kind of get an idea where you want pieces to be and where you don't want pieces to be. And if there's a spot that you don't want, just put your needle through it and hide it away. This is what my star looks like after I put in the five dents. I'm just going in and making sure that everything is perfectly in place the way that I like it. I don't want my star to be too pointy. I don't want it to be too blunt. I'm just making sure it looks really nice when I'm done. So here is my final star that I've decided to stick with. I don't have any animal eyes, so I made my own. I just took some black clay and I super glued it to some eyelets. And this will form the eyes of my star. All you have to do is insert them onto the star where you'd like them. Now, if you have the animal eyes that you buy from your local craft store, those work just fine. All right, taking some black felting clay, I'm going to roll this into my finger to form the little mouth. Once you are happy with the size, go ahead and attach it onto the center of the face. And the nice thing about needle felting is it gives you pretty good precision as where you want each piece to go. Take a very small amount of light pink wool and place this underneath the eyes where the cheeks will be. This will give the cheeks a nice little blush color. Just gently needle felt this in and make sure you do this very lightly. You don't want to reshape your character. Now if you're happy with your character, you can stop right here, but I'm going to take it an extra step by forming a little bow with ribbon. I tried to make my bow as small as possible, and for a tip, once you're done cutting your bow, if you don't want the fringes to become undone, take some nail polish and just brush it on the very tip. I just super glued my bow onto my star, and your character is all done, you guys. So like I said earlier, this makes a great decorative item. You can put this on your desk, your shelf, wherever it is you want. But I like to wear my items, so I went ahead and attached a nice hair tie onto the back of my star. You can super glue it, sew it, do it however you want. I think by making your own personalized accessories, it really makes your wardrobe stand out and people always want to know where you get these items and you can always show off by saying you personally made them. And of course, they make a great gift to your bestie. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. For more like these, please subscribe and check out my other videos. My Instagram username is FlyingMio. You can follow me there if you want. And good luck everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye